So we are in Tehran in June 2006. Um, President Bush is in his uh, fourth year of office. Uh, President Ahmadinejad in his second year of office. And I had uh, um, the honor, joy, whatever you call it, to give a lecture on oil, gas, geopolitics, all that, uh, in the Institute of Foreign Policy or Institute of Diplomatic Studies, I think it's called, which is some sort of diplomatic academy, but in Iran, it's part of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, like the DA used to be part of the ministry. And it's very nicely located in a former uh, palace which belonged to, to, to the Shah family. Uh, and... Um, uh, after my lecture, I was asked by, I think it was the number two or three of this institute, uh, to pay him a, a, an additional visit and uh, for a short debate after the, the lecture. So I came into his office, very sophisticated gentleman, I must say. He looked much more refined uh, than the average uh, uh, revolutionary, um, how should I say, uh, senior official, <laughs> because... You can really observe, like, since the 80s, they have become more and more sophisticated. You know, I remember very well the revolutionaries of the 1980s. Uh, you had the very provincial people sometimes coming to the capital, getting into high-ranking positions for which they were not at all qualified, um, neither from an intellectual point of view nor as a character. And that hit hard, in particular, the diplomatic core of, of uh, Iran, which used to be top uh, uh, in, in many senses. So anyway, um, I had a, a conversation with this gentleman and uh, I always wear a kind of silk scarf, which I put in this kind of Benazir Bhutto style. You know, I don't put a whole uh, fula, but I just have this little scarf and it's a fairly long scarf. And I got somehow example with my scarf and uh, he observed that I always was trying to put it somehow in a correct way. And uh, his first... Um, uh, question was, are you running into troubles with your scarf? I said, yes, I do. He said, just put it down, please. <laughs> so I put it down. And the two uh, junior officials who were there for, to, for the protocol, they, uh, they were not at all amused, but the conversation started. And he asked me, uh, you speak Hebrew? I said, yes, I do. Uh, and I immediately hooked up and said, uh, and the Hebrew University of Jerusalem was the best campus I had been to. So this official of the Islamic Republic of Iran, number two of the Diplomatic Institute, says, well, I have heard a lot of good things about that university. <laughs> and uh, so we continued to, to have a very nice conversation on uh, what's up in the EU, what's up in the Eastern Mediterranean. And it, it was a kind of tour d'horizon, but uh, very nice. And the conversation ended with a phrase that I will always recall. He said, uh, it was 2006, you know, you had this constant tension. Next month, next month, the US or Israel will hit uh, uh, Iran because it was... Uh, uh, this uh, making up of the sanctions. The sanctions were not yet in the stage of the year 2008, 2012, when things get got from bad to worse, but uh, the overall picture in the Middle East was not too, too promising. And our conversation ended by the following sentence. This gentleman said, you know, I'm fairly confident that sooner or later, President Ahmadinejad and President Bush will meet, they will sit down, they will have a very good understanding because both gentlemen met God. <laughs> and he said that with a very dry tone, you know. <laughs> it was, was one of these surreal moments, you know. Maybe you have also encountered those uh, when you were in, in Iraq. It's, uh, it's surrealism. And it's uh, outsiders could never ever imagine that you can have this kind of conversation I've always been very frank about what I have done, where I went, where I will go. Uh, but this was one of those conversations in Tehran, which I recall uh, as, as uh, the, the summum of surrealism. 